Hey Virgos, and welcome to your 2020 year ahead forecast. This is Sky here to speak a little bit about the awesome and beautiful energy coming up for you in the year of 2020. You are one of the most activated signs, no doubt, because you are the third earth sign that is uh, being represented. We've got a lot of Capricorn and Taurus energy transiting, and you are a Virgo, so this energy is building you up. You are getting a stronger foundation. You are having a lot of things just naturally falling into place, and you your world is getting more and more real. The wants that you've had for a long time are getting more and more real. The um, the the any illusory, fake, or you know insecure vibes that were never real are falling away, and you are getting a lot of opportunity for ascension here. Congratulations, Virgo! I think that your energy is awesome this year. So I know that um, it is still humanity and sometimes there are still difficult things to work through, but I think that there's a very youthful energy coming out from your energy line. I think you're being very sought after. There's something very public also coming up in your energy. So I feel like this year would be really good for you to make a new friend group or to... Um, even become some type of figure like uh, in politics or business or you know something that is very public could be interesting for you this year as I feel you to be just really shining brightly we're getting a lot more um, time in the life in the lives of other people which is interesting and of course that won't resonate for everyone but I just think that your energy is um, so sought after and so popular this year and I'm not just gassing you guys up because if you wanted to listen to some of the other signs a year ahead forecast for 2020 you would see that that's not really my thing I'm not really someone who sugarcoats a lot but I will say that your energy is incredibly sweet okay incredibly blissful if you want it to be so to get to that point and to get to that place in life where you can accept that in and where things can really be blissful sweet and incredible it takes a lot of hard work and it and it means that your day-to-day, -day, your mundane world has that sense of hard work or has that sense of um, healthy pressure, healthy work, healthy vibrancy that makes your moments of solitude or your moments of recovery that much sweeter. You know what I mean? There's like a contrast also coming into your life this year. And when you are so exalted, as that's the word that's coming to my mind, like Virgo is a very exalted energy in the year of 2020, there's also a lot of... Um, considerations or a lot of what I want to say duties that you have to work through as well and that's everybody to a degree like everybody has a sense of duty or a sense of okay I have to do this even though it's not so comfortable or it's not so perfect um, that really contributes to their sort of higher sense of utopia or higher sense of happiness I also feel that this is sort of a light of the light at the end of the tunnel year for you, where after many, many years, because I, I remember like even back when I first started doing readings here on my channel in 2016, uh, consistently Virgo energy was just always pulling up a lot of heavy things, you know, a lot of Ten of Swords, a lot of, you know, um, moon energy, uh, judgment energy, all of those types of things were very prevalent for you guys up until very recently. And I think that just the last about four years for you guys have been very scrupulous, very incredulous, very visceral, yes, but also hard and difficult. And this is one of the first years where things really start to line up in your favor naturally, but that's because of the hard work and overcoming that you've had to do over the past few years. Um, I do think that uh, there's nothing really new in difficulty here. I will say that. I don't see any, like, brand new difficult things coming up for you. You know, things out of left field, shocking things. Uh, there can be shocking things, but it's not something that goes against you. It's not something that's a problem. Again, Uranus is in Taurus, which is a trine for you, which means that anything that is surprising or sudden or um, shocking is something that is helpful or something that um, supports you. So, you know, suddenly making more money than you expected, suddenly getting some kind of refund, maybe like a high tax refund or something, uh, because there are a lot of money implications for Virgo energy. You guys should make more this year. Um, Virgo energy itself is much wealthier, much more uh, profitable than it has been in a long time. And of course, there can be other energies, like everybody's chart is different. If you have a lot of Capricorn in your chart, I mean, even Capricorn can be very wealthy this year, but um, just depending on how your chart is aligned, that will make a difference as well. But just Virgo energy, if you really tapped into the Virgo side of your personality, you would see that, um, you know, wealth and prosperity really are very achievable for you this year. 
there could be a feeling of sort of being peripheral or being sidelined to a degree. You might sort of feel like people aren't directly focused on you or feeling like people are, um, I don't know, kind of seeing you out of the corner of their eye or something. It's not going to feel direct. So if, uh, so, I, I, and I know that not many of you are, but if you struggle with like any type of narcissistic traits or any type of, um, not, not even just narcissism, uh, insecurity or feeling like you're not attractive or feeling like um, you're not enough in some way or needing attention, this could be the only problem area that I really see for Virgo because you might sort of feel like people are bypassing you or there's like a detour. Uh, because you have grown so strong and you've grown so powerful that you need to go after what you want. Again, the energies are very cardinal this year. So you, if you see something that you want, you need to go after it. You need to pursue it versus trying to allure it towards you. That's a key thing for you guys this year. Again, Virgo energy is a very alluring energy. So it tries to kind of magnetize what it wants versus going after it. And I don't see that being the best course of action this year. I see a lot of disappointment over relying on things to just come to you. Um, you've got to really go after what you want. So so those of you Virgos with like a lot of Aries or Cardinal energy in general, you know, Cancer, Capricorn, Libra in your chart, you'll have an easier time. But um, yeah, watch out for relying too much on magnetism, magnetism, okay? Um, you, you do want to watch out for that. Because again, you're kind of on the sideline and this is a good thing. This is healing for you because again, with that sense of magnetism being blocked, you're also not going to magnetize in, you know, betrayal or pain or, you know, um, meanness from other people. So you're not getting direct conflict, but you're also not magnetizing like direct comfort either. So if you want comfort, you have to go after it. If you want conflict, you have to go after it. Do you know what I mean, Virgo? And this is like a really huge blessing, but something that can be frustrating in like the, uh, in a certain headspace, you know what I mean? Um, you know, and I think that there's a good sense of retreat for you this year as well. So like going off to the mountains, going off to a forest or going, get, getting back in touch with the earth, like off the grid could be super healing for Virgos. Cause again, especially once we get to your time of the year in August and September, there's going to be like grand earth trines. So there's a reconnection with mother nature. There's a reconnection with the natural rhythm of life that is also, uh, an undertone or an over, I'm going to call that an overtone for, for your year ahead, Virgo. Um, embracing nature, watch out for synthetic things like synthetic materials, synthetic fragrances, synthetic like cosmetics, anything that's like really unnatural would also be a problem area this year because you are like the definition of nature. You are a very natural person. So um, starting to embrace the aging process or starting to embrace the uh, process of, you know, give and take, it's really important to see how nature reflects that too and finding comfort in it. And as I was talking about in one of my uh, Patreon tea chats that was about holiday balance, uh, there's a great opportunity for most people, but I feel Virgo really strongly for this, that between like January and February of 2020, you can um, have almost like as much healing in two months as most people might have in two years. Um, there's a great, great detached healing energy that comes up from the sideline that I was talking about. Um, that really supports you coming in uh, like January and February. So I want you guys to really maybe have things in order in January and February to do a lot of quick healing so that you can move forward into the rest of 2020 with an opportunity of just like changing the game, feeling more comfortable, feeling more healed, feeling more um, grounded in your life because you are such a grounded energy this year. Oh my gosh, all the earth signs can just be so awesome, so grounded, so... Um, so together, if they want to be, that that you're not going to be subject to the same type of betrayal or the same type of pain just by how solid you are within. And yes, very exalted time, very possible for you to um, um, even confront some of the things in your own personal life that have um, become inconsistent as well. I think that there are consistency um, themes coming up for you and uh, really making your energy more consistent as well. The way that you spend more consistent, your time, your money, your energy, all of these things are going to um, be made more consistent this year. And through that, there is a strong line of healing that you will access as well. Um, things will flow comfortably. Again, being the center of that grand trine energy with all the earth energy coming about, there's a familiarity you sort of know the code, you know the password. You, it's sort of like Nine of Cups energy for you in the tarot, um, where you know the password, you know the um, you know the gate, you know you know how to get through the gate, you know how to get through 
uh, what has been um, feeling disconnected before. Um, so yeah, you can finally sort of access maybe an area that you've not been able to be before, maybe accessing a career you've not been able to access before. Um, just basically also maybe having powerful people behind you. Um, you can make definitely powerful connections this year too, and it might be a matter of who you know this year. It might be a matter of really networking and building a support network, even with like family mm -hmm. or with um, uh, anybody who has been um, a fixture in your life. It might be really good to assess what they're contributing to your life as well, because I do feel that there are people who really want to contribute to your uh, well-being too. Um, basically, you do become more popular this year as well and more powerfully popular, um, definitely. I think that there's less reliance in your energy this year too, as you start to not need to rely on others so much. I think that there's been something in Virgo energy that has really needed specific types of people around it to feel wholesome and struggling to find that wholesome sense of self within. And that's, I know maybe over the last four or five years, your spiritual journey has really revolved around finding that sense of spiritual wholesomeness within and that should be developed now, and it's almost, like, chilling to see you have that developed here. And even if a relationship falls through, or even if the date doesn't go well, or if um, or if the job doesn't go the direction that you expected, basically your sense of not necessarily being in control of it feels valuable versus um, hurtful, okay? So not feeling like having lack of control is game over basically and how empowering that becomes for you to see that the universe is actually working in your favor maybe the loss of this relationship for instance is not about hurt it's not about pain it's about saving you from someone who could never really understand you in the first place okay um, maybe losing this job or making a bit less money is not about you experiencing lack. It's about you getting something so much better next year. Or And it's like there's a simple understanding. There's a simple philosophizing within Virgo energy that directs you into that mentality of, okay, this might have really hurt me before, but now I'm mature enough. So maturity, big keyword for you. Now I'm mature enough to realize that this is an opportunity in disguise. Because sometimes when opportunities aren't in disguise, they don't carry the same weight or we don't pursue them because we get very um, opposed to ourselves within opportunity often um, as Virgos. So you almost have to have, opportunity sometimes has to present itself to a Virgo as a challenge because Virgo is a challenge taker. It's not so much an opportunity grabber, it's like a challenge taker. So. Um, Another great way to feel more opportunistic this year is to just be like, okay, I'm open to opportunity. I'm open to direct, clear, concise opportunity. I don't need to experience loss or challenge to see that opportunity is in my life. That's another great affirmation for Virgo energy in the year of 2020. And you would really see through that acceptance, through that clear form of direct acceptance that a lot of challenges would subside yet if there's not that acceptance there will just be quite a few sort of feelings of challenge but i also feel that you're not afraid of a challenge in 2020 again the capricorn energy for a virgo is like really enjoying challenge really enjoying something difficult um because you really get nimble reflexes within the sphere of difficulty. So uh, very interesting for Virgo to be on that wavelength this year. I'm going to go ahead and find a tarot card for you guys for the year of 2020. I'm just going to shuffle really quickly here and um, let something jump out. And this will just be a concept as you move through 2020, something helpful and um, contributing to your sense of wholesomeness um, clearly. So let's see. For Virgo, we have actually Seven of Swords. And that's interesting because of what I was just speaking about, about challenge and about the need for Virgo to develop those nimble reflexes. And I think Seven of Swords, it gets a bit of a bad rap. It can uh, signify, you know, being stolen from, feeling like people are cheating you, feeling like people are taking from you, or also feeling like you're taking on too much, you know, having too many sharp things around you, too many grudges, too many um, mean people around. So it's like carrying all these sharp things around your neck. Um, 
However, I do feel that this is also taking on a challenge. There's something like sort of like juggling swords or juggling um, uh, something a little bit dangerous too. So there is an aspect of that for you guys this year here. But I also think that it's just a sign to get those sharp things away from your neck and enjoy yourself, you know? Um, cut down a little bit on the sharpness around the vital parts of your life or the vital parts of your being. As a Virgo, there's a great... Um, palette emerging for soft rejuvenation while developing that sense of um, nimble ability at the same time. So it's a good time to maybe take on a new cognitive practice or start learning a new language, start learning something new with your brain. The sword suit is all about logic and about uh, brain power and seven of swords can sort of be like, okay, I'm feeling a little bit um, not sharp enough, or I'm feeling like a little bit of brain fog. So yeah, good to also pursue health, making sure your endocrine health is good, making sure that your gut is healthy, making sure that your brain isn't too foggy. Um, so having the blood work done could be good, seeing if there are any deficiencies, because Seven of Swords to me can also just indicate sometimes that there's a fogginess too, and we're just feeling like the demands of life are a little bit like sharp, and, and we can't carry all these demands or swords, you know? Um, but yes, of course, it can signify also people taking advantage But I think that of you. But I think that you will see that a mile away, and I think that you are strong enough and developed enough to handle that square on, you know, head on without even feeling that there's a sense of conflict. But anyway, Virgos, thank you guys so much for being here for your 2020 year ahead reading. Be sure to check out the other ones, um, any sun, moon rising, any concentration of other planets that you might have, and hit that subscribe button because tomorrow we will be going into Libra's energy, um, and that will be going up at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. And yeah, Virgos, thank you guys so much. If you wanted to book a private reading with me for January, or if you wanted to um, check out my Patreon page where I've uh, done a lot of other exclusive healing content, I would be so happy to be in touch. Uh, hit that like button and comment below on how it's doing. Uh, sorry again for the audio glitch, but I just did not want to lose that channeling. Um, I would have definitely re-recorded it if I would have thought for a second that I could have remembered everything that I said, but um, I thought that it was more important to have that channeling there than to um, than to delete it and potentially lose some of that because that was such good positive reinforcement, and I felt it so keenly and so strongly for you guys, so hello technology. It is not always the most cooperative. Thank you guys, Virgo, for being here. We will be talking soon. Much love. Keep that subscribe button hit. Bye.